Hello there. So I have bought a Sonos Sub four years ago and it stopped working and I was like trying to find the cause, root cause of why it wasn't working. I even went down to the shop to try and ask them uh, what was wrong. And they said that there is no repair on the Sonos Sub, but you can do a swap for a very expensive price. It's around eight, nine hundred dollars, then you'll get a new one. It's cheaper than a brand new one, but still expensive when you have one. So I was considering how to disassemble this sub and I figured out that the entire frame is, is molded all the way from, from the back from one side and all the way up. And there's only one of the sides which, which is not molded together. And this is this one. And I couldn't find any screws. I was actually, I was thinking it's probably underneath uh, the feet. So I removed one of the uh, rubber feet but no screws there. And, and then it's completely sealed and you're just wondering, have they glued everything together? So I decided, okay, it's not working. So I'll just use a large, large screwdriver, like this one, a huge one. And I just insert it into to here. There is, a, there is a slot where you can put it in. Uh, but I quickly found out that, that it's going to be bent and it's going to be destroyed this one. So when you finally are able to take this one off, it, it will be bent like this one. And that is due to, there is a huge amount of, of rubber, uh, which is gluing it together, all of it. So, so you won't be able to take it off without destroying this one. But, and then again, this is the back side of the sub. So, all right, if you can get it to work, then it does matter with this one. At least that's my opinion. So then you get underneath and you'll find eight holes with screws in, uh, smaller screws like, like these, these guys here. And you need to remove all of them. So once you get them out, you'll find that this piece here is still difficult to remove because it's, it's really neatly fitted together into the other frame. So what I did was I, 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 took, I took it up, like took the sub up, and then I just inserted a very small screwdriver, like, like this one, a small flat screwdriver. And I, I inserted it here all along, and then just very gently squeezed upwards, and then I was able to remove the entire frame body or the lid of the frame. So when you have that one removed, you'll find this view here with multiple screw holes all, all, all around, everywhere. You see all these, all the screws that I've taken out. So I guess these one are those, and those, these are for print card. So here you'll, again, it's it's very good put together and it's difficult to get out. So yeah, let's see if I'm able to get this one out again. Yep. Screwdriver. So we get this one out. Very high quality material. And this is how it looks inside. Um, over here, there is a print card, a main print card, and you would have to remove that and see in the other video what I've done there, measuring what the fault was. But this is how it looks inside anyway. Um, yeah. So that's it. Thanks for watching.